Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I had some time tonight to throw one more out there. Um, so I decided to check out the new and final version, I guess, of uh, Trend Micro Titanium Internet Security. This is a paid product, of course. You can see what it looks like there. Very, very simplistic. Uh, you have some settings here. I'm just going to leave everything stock. You have a couple network settings, exceptions lists, some other settings here. Um, there's nothing to download really. You have a couple tools, parental controls and uh, data theft, scan, and that's it really. There's nothing to update, um, nothing, to, uh, nothing to really worry about. Just install it. Uh, let's see here. It does use up a ton of RAM. Uh, that's 75 megs. Uh, that's awfully high for um, for any modern uh, piece of software, especially anything that is a security software that has to run basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the background. I would expect it to be less than 20 megs, um, if possible. Um, it should be transparent and it shouldn't be using up especially anywhere near this much RAM so let's see here I have I think 10 links here that we can use to test it out at oh a little FYI here I think Trend Micro if I remember right is a Japanese company so uh, I think it's one of the only ones out there that's a major um, AV vendor that is made in Japan. Um, of course, they have offices all over the world. Okay, that one was blocked using the uh, website blocker, I guess. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go around that. Uh, now this technically blocked it, and that's totally fine. But I also want to see how the program uh, does. So I want to see if it'll block the software also. I like when programs block them like that, but I also like to put the program to the test, and it blocked that, so that's good. Okay, and it blocked that one. Now I would expect that if it was blocked um, using their website blocker, whatever you want to call it, uh, I would hope that they also block it um, when it tries to run to the system because that means they've seen this website before. So I would hope that they cached all these files and have signatures against them. see this one wasn't blocked by the web blocker same website different uh, link okay looks like that one doesn't work anymore Of 
see if I can get rid of that threat uh, by doing a scan here. So let me pause the video and I'll come right back. That's a uh, that's a fake MSC uh, type antivirus that uh, basically blocks any files from being able to run on your computer. So, well, the whole system just took a a dump <laughs> Te technically. Um, so I'm gonna force a uh, restart and I will be back when this is done okay so I restarted here and it uh, looks like it's opening up again Internet Explorer is so let's try to finish up where we were at Okay, so that uh, video plugin one was dead. Okay, that one got blocked by the web scan. But let's see what happens with the actual file. Okay, looks like I blocked that one. That's good to see. And last one. You really have to click around a lot of warnings to uh Be able to download some of this malware. Okay, so I ran all the links. Let's see here if we have anything out of the ordinary. Got something right there. Trend Michael, uh, that's just not okay. So I'm going to do a full scan. And I'm going to let this scan, and we'll see if it finds anything. And I will be back with the results. Okay, so, uh, Trend Micro finished scanning here, and it didn't find anything. So I'm going to grab my testing tools, I'm going to run CCleaner, and then I'm going to run Malwarebytes, and I will be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning. Okay, so I had a problem um, running malware bytes it just won't run so I decided to do a scan with Norton Power Racer here and it's found a infection right there and I know that's an infection uh, let's see what happens when we do a scan here yeah of course but I know it's a it definitely is something so I'm gonna let Norton fix this and then I'm gonna, it's gonna ask me to restart, so I'm gonna restart. And then if I can get Malwarebytes to run, I'm gonna run and do a um, quick scan. So I'm just gonna pause the video right now and I'll be back after Malwarebytes hopefully finishes uh, scanning. Okay, so I uh, rebooted after Norton Power Racer and you saw me do that. And well, he didn't see me do that, but it cleaned it out. I rebooted. I tried to open up uh, Malwarebytes, and still nothing. It just won't open up. So I decided and to try to scan with Super Anti Spyware, and it worked. 
and it found a rootkit. So I'm going to use this to remove the rootkit, and hopefully, um, when it when I reboot now, I'll be able to actually use Malwarebytes to scan the system. So I will be back uh, when this is done rebooting. All right, so I rebooted here, and it still will not open up. There's still something in here uh, keeping me from opening up Malwarebytes. If you watch right here, when I try to double-click it, you can see it appear and then disappear. I saw I saw it pop up once. Um, but there's definitely something keeping um, malware bytes from starting up. So I ran a scan with these two. I can't run a scan right now with malware bytes. Let's see if there's any more um, root kits or anything on the system. And uh, that'll tell us if there's anything else. Uh, and yeah, there's still um, there's still something on here. Okay, so let's see what happens when I run a scan with uh, Hitman Pro, and uh, we'll see what this finds. And yep, there's still another rootkit on here, so I will be back when this scan is done. Okay, so Hitman Pro finished scanning here, and um, you can see it found, um, it, we do have that rootkit. This is just, uh, of course, uh, Super Anti Spyware, which there's no point. But what we have here is we have a patch rootkit, and uh, we still have a Trojan too. Um, this rootkit is probably what's stopping uh, malware bytes from running. The only way to fix this would be to boot up with a uh, bootable CD and uh, try fixing it that way. It'd probably take a couple of CDs to try to get everything out of here. So, um, how can I say this? Um, if you follow how Trend Micro works, um, by that I mean if you completely go by okay it said told me that website is bad and I won't uh, I'll believe them and I'll go away from it then it didn't do too bad but if it doesn't tell you a website is bad um, like what we tested when we ignored the web scanner to see how it would protect it didn't do that well uh, personally I would have rather let it uh, leave in some Adware or some kind of like fake AV or something instead of these root kits. Uh, root kits are a big no no. They're probably one of the worst uh, ones right now out there of any type of malware. Um, and so, okay, you can leave a rogue or something or something like that, but a root kit is a bad thing. It's just a pain to get out of the system and it just you can see what kind of problems it causes. Even though the system looks like it's working just fine, it's not. Um, so that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, at this point in time, I wouldn't recommend Trend Micro. It's expensive. This uh, internet security version, I think, is $70. And um, in my little test here, it didn't do too well. Um, it did well in one aspect, but it didn't do well in the other, if you know what I mean. Um, it seems to depend too much on its web scanner blocking ability than it does by it, its actual program um, to stop malware. Which I guess if you can understand what I'm saying there. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.